Welcome Monet Cafe and my patrons. This is a sneak peek into some of my sketchbooks that is actually kind of a part two from a Patreon lesson that I had during our what I call story time. So I'm opening this up for Monet Cafe as well. All right, here we go. So we're gonna take a walk down memory lane. I don't even know what order these are in. This is an older sketchbook of mine. Um, I try to finish them. There's a lot that I haven't finished, but this one has a plethora of all kinds of stuff in it. Okay, it's just a Strathmore sketchbook, okay? 100 sheets. I've torn a lot of them out for I don't know what reason, but um, but anyway, this was just, I was literally in a car. This was a trip. I should put dates on all of mine. I've gotten a little better at that to kind of remember where you were or what was going on, but this was just a fun little whimsical sketch many years ago. I was in a car with my husband, and um, there's a little sketch of a girl done in charcoal, um, let's see here, uh, Johnny Depp. This was done, here's the difference with charcoal and pencil. Um, I like char, I think this is mostly charcoal. I like charcoal, I think it has more of a, I don't know, just a sketchy uh, artistic quality to it. And pencil looks so fixed, okay? Pencil has, um, I don't know, maybe a little shinier or something. And uh, let's see, there's a, started a, a thing of Marilyn Monroe. Remember, these are some of these are much older sketchbooks. This is a little watercolor combination pastel sketch that I did. See, I don't even care. Like, I know a lot of times we're like, oh, how do you protect that? I don't care about protecting that. This is all for just playing. That's the best word, play. This is what these are for. This was a little pastel sketch I did. Again, I don't care if it gets all smudged or whatever. I was just playing, okay? And let's see a little more. Oh, this one I did protect, you know, spoke too soon here. Uh, I guess I sort of liked this one. So what I did is I took a piece of glassine or tracing paper and I just put over the sketch so that when you close it, it's protected. Now, this is back when I was still using this blue painter's tape. I like the blue painter's tape. It's fine. It's not archival though, okay? So if you're wanting to do something long-term, this stuff, you're not guaranteed that it won't yellow or something, okay? So, but again, this is an older sketchbook. I didn't even care. So, there's a little little pastel sketch. Yes, you can do a pastel sketch in a uh, on a regular uh, drawing paper or sketchbook, okay? So, uh, that these were most likely the harder new pastels and maybe some softies towards the end. Uh, a tomato. <laughs> a weird king. <laughs> Oh, funny dog. That dog has proportions way off. Another watercolor sketch. Some guy. Sometimes I like doing a little square and making people go outside the square. Some guy. I'm going to tell you about where I get these faces from in a minute. A girl. Oh, I better hold some of these up a little closer for you guys. Oh, and also too, sometimes I flip my sketchbook over because I'm left-handed. I don't want the thing to get in the way of my hand. Sometimes I turn my arm. So I'll often use my sketchbooks upside down or backwards. Uh, some kitty cat with charcoal. I found too, if you combine charcoal and pencil, sometimes that doesn't work because the pencil is shinier. You probably can't see it here. I had pencil here and then I added charcoal. So I usually like to stick to one or the other. Uh, some guy that had a really funny eyes and a funny beard. Oh yeah, here, here I'm doing a little more um, uh, pastel. This was later, I, I didn't use a sketchbook for a long time, so these were starting to get a little better. This is one that I did of a girl. Um, now I'm gonna talk about the app. This is from face, all these faces. What did I do, just find random people? No, I used an app called the Sketchy app, okay? I've talked about it quite a bit, but let me show you if my light will allow me to. Um, it's an app right here uh, that you can use on your phone or you can use, let me get the home screen. Actually, let me close out of it. All right, so I'm holding this in a way where my light doesn't get in it, but it's an app called Sketchy. It's S-K-T-C-H-Y. There's no E in it, okay? So if we click that, we go into the Sketchy app. And for some reason on the iPad, it won't let you turn it sideways. You know how usually it'll fix it? It's just vertical, okay? But um, it's awesome because, like if you go to one of, uh, this is my page, okay? Um, if you go to one of my sketches, I really like this girl's face. So um, if you go to one of my sketches, if you scroll, well, let me zoom out. If you scroll this way, you see actually the person 
that I use to sketch from. So how do we find um, that? Let me go back to me again. Um, let me look through a few others of these. I like this girl's face. She was really pretty. Um, and th the cool thing about the Sketchy app is they don't necessarily have to look like the person because it's not like you're doing a portrait commission. You're just practicing. And drawing people's faces, I find, really helps you get better at proportional drawing of anything. It helps with your landscape painting because you really gotta get the human face right so it really forces you to get better. So this was the girl's face and I, I chose to change a few things, but, um, but I loved her general face anyway. So anyway, the neat thing is that you can go to like, um, oh, let's see this guy's face. Yeah, he was a cool looking dude, huh? Um, so if I go to this is inspiration, okay? So you can search people's faces. Um, it's kind of hooking people up. Um, it's like a Facebook for hooking up people who are artists and people who, uh, like to be sketched or want to be sketched. And so they put up their faces and you draw them. And you, the neat thing is you have to attach their face to their image. I like this lady's face, for example. I would love to sketch her face. And when I did, what I would do is I would click the little add button. And what would you like to share? Inspiration or art? I'd say art. I'd find a photo that I did. This is all my mermaid stuff because I'm doing a mermaid painting. I'd say that was her face. I'd find it. I'd click my drawing. Say it was my drawing. I'd click it. Oop, I don't want to do it. And it would attach it to here and she can see it. Okay. So isn't that cool? That's really neat. So it's the sketchy app and I really, really like it. All right. Okay. So this is a girl's face that I found on the sketchy app and I decided to do it in pastel, mostly new pastels, but some other pastels as well. Um, this is another girl's face, again, protected by the glassine that I did in the Sketchy app. And she really did have a, a warm glow on her face. That's why her face is yellow. But I decided to just get a little crazy and fun with it, you know. Um, here's another girl's face that I did in pastel. So, yeah, you can use sketchbook. Oh, I have this one a different way. Let's see. You can use sketchbooks for, um, for pastel sketching, too, you know. It's kind of fun. I liked her face. Isn't that pretty? She has how she's looking off into something hopeful, I guess. Another girl's face. This is charcoal. This is pencil and charcoal, I think. Charcoal again. I really started liking charcoal the more um, I worked on things. This little girl was with her little buddy. was just so cute. She was just laughing. So cute. Oh, I love this little girl's face, too. She had the sweetest little face. This is pencil. This is um, pencil. Various pencils, like I showed you, kind of like the 6B and the 4H, HB. Okay, this is, a, oop, this is an acrylic painting in the sketchbook, okay? And I wrote down, I wanted to make sure it was uh, reproducing another artist's work. I love her bird paintings. So I decided to reproduce. Her name is Angela Moulton. Um, she does lovely bird paintings. So you can learn a lot by um, uh, representing or reproducing other artists' work. These are some little sketches of some landscape thumbnails I was doing. Um, this is a, oh, these are little um, like five minute sketches I was doing. That's why they look really crazy. Let's see how many I did. Oh, this is my little piggy that I did in here. This is some serious looking dude. Yep, when I did this one, again in charcoal. I liked the shadows on her face. <laughs> a funny little dog. And this was a really light charcoal. Notice it's not very dark at all. I only had one charcoal pencil with me. Uh, this was a really fast sketch. I liked her crazy hair, though. I loved this woman's face. She just looks so sweet. I loved her face, too. Gosh, what just so delicate and beautiful. What can you do with youth, huh? <laughs> this guy's face, too. I liked his serious-looking face and his beard. Beards are fun for me. I like to paint beards. This was another fast sketch, kind of weird. 
Oh, this girl's face. I love her face on uh, the Sketchy app. I can't remember her name. I need to start writing the names down. I loved giving, I think her hair was pink in the thing, but sometimes, you know, just get fun with color. Have a good time. Same girl, different um, positioning of her head. Same girl. She did something look kind of like a zombie. I don't know. <laughs> it was kind of weird. I like trying using negative shapes and, and playing around with the paper and filling it up. This girl. I like to sometimes exaggerate something, a feature on someone. Like this girl here. This girl, I exaggerated her mouth. Um, and this one, I exaggerated her eyes. She had these big eyes, but I thought, how cool to just really exaggerate them. Oh, also, too, I have another little sketchbook that is this size. I love these little sketchbooks. This is on recycled paper, the one that I was just using to, to do a demonstration. Um, I can't find it. I have it almost totally filled up with people's faces from Sketchy, and it's great to work small. Um, I love how it forces you to um, work quickly and not get so serious about it, okay? So small sketchbooks are awesome. Okay, again, I don't have these in any particular order. This is one that I got from Arteza. I've mentioned them before, the company. They send me free art supplies to do demos. Um, it's a nice watercolor sketchbook, okay? It's got a little um, thing here to get, hold it closed. And I, I haven't done a whole lot in this one, but I started playing around with watercolor. I think this was this is watercolor and pastel. Um, and again, I'm not worried about smearing it. This is for practice. This was a little something I did. I wasn't super happy with that. Playing around, being fun, being silly. I like the brightness of the flowers. That was kind of cool. And that's probably all I have in here. Oh, no. I started working on um, Marisa. You are a patron of mine and just a sweetheart. She's so sweet. But I did a portrait commission of her little um, pug, uh, Molly. And this was when I was doing some sketching on Molly. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it in this one. So I haven't done a lot in that sketchbook. Okay, let's look at another one. I think I'll save that one because that's got some other stuff in it. All right, let's see. What do we have here? I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Okay, for this one, I don't even know what side. Oh, I must have started in this side. Okay, I did a little girl's face here. And this guy. Also, too, don't be afraid to get creative. Add some text to your sketches or just have fun. That's the whole point of this. These are in marker. You know, Jackie was saying in the book to use different supplies. You don't have to always use pencil or charcoal. So, and I think I was on, actually on a cruise ship when I did these. I did this lady, this one, this one. I only had three values of a marker with me. So I used a dark... Here's the dark, the dark, the medium. Wait, let me see. Yeah, the medium and the light. You see, that's actually a light marker. And of course, I have the white of the paper for a fourth value. So you can get four value study with just three markers. And this guy's face, I really liked it. Let's see, do I have anything else in here? Oh yeah, there's that girl that I had on the sketchy app. This girl. Uh, oh, I thought she was a pretty girl too. And then this girl, I am not a, uh, condoning or uh, thinking smoking's okay because I don't like smoking. But I thought her face was really neat. And it was kind of neat having the cigarette come out of the, the border like that. It was kind of cool. Oh, this was like a, a bowl or something that I did. Oh, this guy's face. He just looks so happy. Doesn't he look happy? He's a handsome guy, huh? Okay, let's see. Did I have any more in here? Yeah, I got to get to work on these and filling them up. All right, let's see what this one has. I never know if I'm going to... This is an older one. Okay, this uh, actually was from a movie. I was somewhere and I didn't have any reference images, so I found a movie with uh, Drew Barrymore in it. And um, I just did a quick sketch of her. Oh, this was a friend's dog. It's another way to get reference images. If you have friends on Facebook, usually the ones that are not artists, they love for you to paint or sketch their uh, their images, okay? So I have a lot of people that I'll always ask permission first. Hey, you mind if I use some of your stuff? And usually they say, yeah. Uh, I kind of did this out of my head. Um, 
Uh, it's there's a deeper story to this that I won't share. There's kind of a creepy guy watching this lady paint. Um, oh my gosh, this little baby was so cute. Again, I had a friend. His this was his little grandbaby, and of course he was like, oh, absolutely sketch her. She's so cute. Uh, of course, I did a watercolor of this one too. I did my Lord and Savior. Uh, this was a sketch I did as a concept drawing for my book, The Mountain Queen that uh, I had one of the images, I actually kind of like the sketch better than the painting, uh, one of the images where she has gotten older and she's looking out at the mountain that she loves and she can't go climb him anymore. So she's just uh, gotten too old to go do that anymore. I can sort of relate. <laughs> this was a young boy who someone shared he needed prayer. So I did a painting of him. Then you can, you can have fun in your sketchbooks too. I got some stamps and I just did some stamps with some ink and played around with coloring them. I did a little koi fish and some colored pencil. We could be here all day. This was just a sketch of um, a lion and her little cub. I thought the cub was just cute. Lioness, I should say. This was a quick sketch I did of my son sitting on his, uh, working on his laptop. That was a five minute gesture drawing. You know how we did the gesture drawings? I know it's light, you probably can't see it. Um, the gesture drawings working quickly and getting the general gesture. I wanted to get how relaxed he appeared. Of course, he's always relaxed. That's him. Oh, some kind of little bunny painting, an apple. Oh, these are some watercolor sketches done on regular paper, okay? So don't feel bound by your surface because a sketchbook is to play. It's okay if it's, uh, if it's not, you know, your greatest work or whatever. I think these are more recent ones. Here's ones that's a watercolor um, sketches. Oh, let me zoom out a little bit here. Shaking. This is a watercolor sketchbook, okay? And I, I might have, might have shown some of these before. Uh, this is pastel. I don't think, no, I didn't apply clear gesso to this. So this is just pastel on watercolor paper. But I do believe I did a, yeah, I did a watercolor underpainting because I can see the watercolor marks. So these, I just applied watercolor or I may have used ink tense blocks, or I may have used the Neo Color wax pastels. Uh, you just never know. Here's another one with watercolor and pastel. Another one, watercolor and pastel. Which way am I going here? Oh, my Oreo, watercolor and pastel. Another one. This girl's face. I liked this guy's face from the Sketchy app. Um, a little watercolor sketch. This has a little bit of those micron markers applied to it, too. Oh, this was for some of y'all's lessons. <laughs> I use my sketchbooks for my Patreon page. There's that one. All right, this is a an Arteza cold press, dual-sided, um, acid-free, glue-bound watercolor um, it's good for watercolor or mixed media watercolor pad. Oh, something for a painting that I did. Little birds. Little birds. More little birds. Watercolor sketches. All right, these are a little bigger, and this I like because it's on the gray paper. I love sketching with charcoal on a neutral gray surface, and the Strathmore Tone gray paper, I think I've used it in some videos. I really love it. Um, again, I'm doing it upside down because I'm left-handed, and I avoid the spiral binding this way. So I loved her beautiful face. Oh, her eyes were so dreamy. And notice I used the white, um, pastel or white um, uh, pencil, pastel pencil, or just a pastel to, to represent the lightest areas because your gray is the middle value. Oh, she just looked happy and pretty. Again, most of these are from the Sketchy app. I love his face and I love what he stood for. Oh, I like this girl's face. I believe this was from the Sketchy app. Sometimes I've had people want to buy the paintings from the Sketchy app because you got to remember, these are just normal... Oh, I can't get this one off. These are just norm. I have this one all taped up. <laughs> These are just normal people that usually are not artists. Some of them are um, that post pictures of their kids themselves. So sometimes you might do a painting. If it's good and you share it, they just might want to buy it. 
All right, let's see. It. This, I started a dog commission here, and I didn't finish it. Here is a lesson from um, the YouTube channel. It was just on using one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pastels. Oh, six, including white. I, I liked this guy's face. Kind of crazy and fun. I was just having fun with color. This is pastel on gray Strathmore paper. Again, I didn't even worry about protecting it. I liked her. I liked her haircut. I thought that was really kind of a cool haircut, and I liked the way she had it styled. Um, just some little sketches. Oh, this was for one of y'all's lessons, I think. So I obviously used this um, for those things too. Um, these were some what I've been working on, I think, not too long ago. I liked her face. It looked very, I don't know, romantic. She did have a really long uh, uh, forehead <laughs> in the photo, so I obviously exaggerated it. This is that girl I said I really like her face. Oh, there's a painting that I did. I don't know how this... Oh, these are some of my older sketches. Um, I did a bigger painting of this. And I think I actually like the sketch better. I love the little lamb's face. He was just smiling. Look how cute he is. You got me. That's how I feel. You got me, Lord. <laughs> I'm in good hands because I'm, I'm being uh, rescued. <laughs> All right. Now, I've mentioned before that we can do sketching or painting uh, in pastel on black paper. So I've talked before about this black Canson drawing paper. I like it. I like to use it to display my paintings, um, to save them, protect them in between the pages. But I also sometimes just, just sketch in pastel on them. Okay. That's just pastel. No gesso or anything. Probably again, new pastels. Let's see. That's another one. It was just a neat sky and a beachy cool thing. This is one that um, I did not that long ago. It's getting a little muddled. Um, well, I don't know why some of the pastel is uh, getting a little uh, dusty and there are some flecks of the wrong colors in the wrong places. I think that's pretty much it on that one. Yep. Little sketch. These are ones that I was doing while my mom was going through her radiation and um, I sort of needed the art as a healing time. So just kind of playing around this guy's face from the sketchy app. <laughs> he just had a neat smirk on his face, doesn't he? This girl, her, her eyes were interesting to me. Oh, I loved her face. Another guy. Loved his hair. Oh my goodness. Jackson, I hear you breathing over there. I liked his hair too. Love that hair wisping up there. Oh. There's my uh, my cousin. She's so pretty with a little kitty. Isn't that cute? I think that's it in this one. Oh, nope. There's my Oreo in the backyard. Sticking her head through the fence. She does that all the time. Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. This is the end of the Monet Cafe portion of this. The rest is kind of a, a sneak peek into a special sketchbook with a special kind of personal project that I'm working on. So I could have just made this a Patreon only video, but I thought, let me open up the sketchbook portion to my Monet Cafe family. So I hope you liked peeking through some of my sketchbooks. And of course, feel free to become a patron. Let's end this with our studio mascot, Mr. Bob Ross. Thanks, Bob, for joining us and hanging out with us today. So keep painting, keep making the world more colorful and beautiful. And until next time, of course, happy painting.